in the cemetery's darkest hour, there comes the necromancer. With a pile of bones and a rhythm of terror, his bop welcomes the skeleton dancers. A reanimated ball with a coffin dance floor. Come one, come all, we're just looking for the shower. The mausoleum wall shaking some and more. A chill runs through the air, right on through the ghoul's lair. A good old fashioned a Halloween scare. The three and ones break in, make their move, twisting in their unnatural soap groove. With no fresh falls and their dried up balls, they have no place at the monster's ball. Even the mummies look better than them all. Back to the ground is where they're led. The conductor of souls lays them to bed, and his name is Brick of the Dead. Yeah, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Doctor Squatch Limited Soap Guides. Today we have the Brick of the Dead, a bar with the power to bring you back to life. This is, of course, one of Squatch's Halloween specials. A fan favorite brick that is all treat and no trick. But just how great can a reanimated bar be? Well, let's get into this gothic brick. The Spooky Boy contains a couple unique ingredients. Let's start with the highlighted ground vanilla vine, which gives our brick its medium grit. Now, it's important to note that this is not the vanilla bean or extract, it's the vine it grows on. So while you may not be getting the frick ton of benefits that usually comes with vanilla, you are getting some nice exfoliation. In fact, I'd say it's one of the better medium grits Squatch offers. Now they said they chose this ingredient because it reminded them of freshly turned earth, like a grave. And that's kind of what it feels like, like dirt. And not in a bad way. It provides a good amount of grit that ironically clears away dead skin, as well as allows the rest of the soap to clean deeper. Our other unique ingredient is purple bone set, or gravel root. The name of this plant, bone set, comes from its historical use in treating fevers, such as dengue fever, which, due to the pain it caused, was nicknamed bone break fever. The stimulating and therapeutic qualities of this plant apparently helped soothe the afflicted person. In the realm of skincare, however, we can expect some noteworthy benefits. Bone set is anti-inflammatory and helps to fight against skin ailments. It can help stimulate and detox the skin of impurities. Overall, this brick looks ready to revitalize your recently revived corpse. The scent is one of the most unique amongst limiteds. Now, a lot of people assume the smell will be vanilla because of the highlighted ingredient, and a lot of people do describe it that way. I do think the bar has some vanilla notes to it, but it's in the background. The main scent I get is earthiness, dirt. However, it somehow smells amazing. It has some sweetness to it, a bit of spiciness to it, it really somehow captures the vibe of a spooky graveyard. To me, the scent also really reminds me of burning incense. It's a complex smell that is also quite strong. It's perfect for spooky season and shows just how creative Squatch's fragrance team can be. It has such a strong presence in the shower, you'd think it was haunted. Not to be outdone by its scent, the brick continues its gimmick while also being a fantastic bar. The medium grit is one of the best Squatch has. The bar cleans deep, but doesn't dry your skin out. It feels surprisingly clean and actually refreshing. With the restorative clean of this brick, you'll step out of the shower, feeling fresh like a zombie breaking out of its grave. Now as for my thoughts, I love this brick. When it was released, it instantly became a favorite of mine. I think the brick of the dead easily may be some sort of god. I'll even put it above the Mars bar, and it's hard for me to do this but even above my beloved Bounchika Wow Wow. Just like those two bars, it checks every box I look for in a limited. It perfectly captures the vibe and theme it's going for. The scent is incredibly unique, the ingredients are creative, and the soap itself is one of the better ones out there. It's a spooky bar that anyone who loves spooky season will enjoy. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. What do you think of the dead boy? Do you love the spookiness of it, or are you more of a Christmas nonsense person? Let me know if you get your hands on this zombie brick. The foulest stench is in the air, the funk of a thousand three-in-ones, 
and grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay clean, your body starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist the brick of the dead. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!